Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving deep into a topic that affects everyone who uses roads, and that's pretty much all of us. We're talking about road technology, specifically the age-old debate, asphalt or concrete, which is better? This question might seem straightforward, but the answer is far from simple. Join us as we explore the advantages, disadvantages, and various factors that influence the choice between these two essential materials. First, let's understand what asphalt and concrete actually are. Asphalt, also known as bitumen, is a sticky, black, and highly viscous liquid or semi-solid form of petroleum. It's mixed with aggregate particles like sand, gravel, or crushed stone to create asphalt concrete. This material is known for its smooth finish, flexibility, and quick installation time. On the other hand, concrete is a composite material composed of fine and coarse aggregate bonded together with a fluid cement that hardens over time. The primary ingredients are cement, water, sand, and gravel. Concrete is renowned for its durability, strength, and longevity. Let's start with asphalt. One of the primary advantages of asphalt is its cost-effectiveness. Asphalt roads are generally cheaper to install compared to concrete roads. The lower initial cost makes it an attractive option for many municipalities and private contractors. Additionally, asphalt has a quicker curing time. Roads paved with asphalt can be used almost immediately after the final layer is compacted, which minimizes traffic disruptions and reduces inconvenience for road users. Another significant advantage of asphalt is its flexibility. This characteristic allows asphalt roads to withstand minor ground movements and temperature fluctuations without cracking. In regions with extreme weather conditions, asphalt can adapt better reducing the risk of damage caused by freeze-thaw cycles. Moreover, asphalt is relatively easy to repair. Potholes and cracks can be patched quickly and efficiently, ensuring the road remains functional and safe with minimal downtime. However, asphalt is not without its drawbacks. One of the major disadvantages is its susceptibility to wear and tear. Heavy traffic loads, especially from trucks and buses, can cause asphalt to rut and deform over time. Additionally, asphalt is prone to oxidation, which can lead to brittleness and cracking. Regular maintenance is essential to extend the lifespan of asphalt roads, which can increase long-term costs despite the lower initial investment. Now, let's turn our attention to concrete. Concrete roads are known for their exceptional durability and strength. A well-constructed concrete road can last for 30 to 40 years or more, significantly longer than asphalt roads. This longevity translates into lower maintenance costs over the road's lifetime. Concrete is also highly resistant to heavy loads, making it an ideal choice for highways, airport runways, and other infrastructure that must support substantial weight. Concrete's rigidity is another benefit. Unlike asphalt, concrete doesn't soften in high temperatures, which means it's less likely to develop ruts in hot weather. Additionally, concrete's reflective surface can help reduce the urban heat island effect, which is a significant concern in densely populated cities. This reflective quality also improves visibility for drivers at night, enhancing road safety. However, concrete has its own set of challenges. The initial cost of constructing a concrete road is significantly higher than that of an asphalt road. The curing process for concrete is also much longer, often taking several days before the road can be used. This extended curing time can lead to longer road closures and greater inconvenience for the public. Furthermore, while concrete is durable, it's also rigid and can crack under certain conditions. Repairs to concrete roads are more complex and costly compared to asphalt repairs. Environmental impact is another crucial factor to consider. 
Asphalt production involves the use of petroleum, a non-renewable resource. The extraction and processing of petroleum contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. However, asphalt can be recycled, which helps mitigate some of its environmental impact. Old asphalt can be ground up and reused in new road projects, reducing the need for new raw materials and lowering overall emissions. Concrete, on the other hand, is made from abundant natural materials like limestone, clay, and sand. However, the production of cement, a key ingredient in concrete, is energy-intensive and generates a significant amount of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas. Advances in technology have led to the development of more sustainable concrete mixes, such as those incorporating fly ash or slag, which can reduce the carbon footprint of concrete production. When choosing between asphalt and concrete, various factors must be taken into account, including climate, traffic load, budget, and intended use. In colder climates, asphalt's flexibility can be a significant advantage, as it can better withstand freeze-thaw cycles. In hotter regions, concrete's resistance to high temperatures and heavy loads makes it a preferable choice. For urban areas with high traffic volumes, the durability and reduced maintenance needs of concrete may outweigh its higher initial cost. Budget constraints also play a critical role. While asphalt may be cheaper to install initially, the long-term maintenance costs can add up. Concrete's higher upfront cost can be offset by its longevity and lower maintenance requirements. For long-term infrastructure projects such as highways and bridges, investing in concrete can be more cost-effective in the long run. It's also essential to consider the environmental impact of road construction materials, as sustainability becomes an increasingly important factor in infrastructure development, both asphalt and concrete industries are making strides to reduce their environmental footprints. Innovations such as warm mix asphalt, which requires less energy to produce, and the use of recycled materials in concrete are steps in the right direction. To dive deeper, let's look at specific use cases for asphalt and concrete. Residential streets often benefit from asphalt due to its quieter surface. Asphalt's smooth finish reduces tire noise, providing a quieter and more comfortable experience for residents. Additionally, the dark color of asphalt helps to melt snow and ice faster during winter months, which is an added advantage in colder regions. Commercial and industrial areas, however, might lean towards concrete for its durability and load-bearing capacity. Heavy machinery, frequent truck deliveries, and constant vehicular movement can cause rapid wear and tear on asphalt surfaces. Concrete's rigidity and strength can better withstand these conditions, reducing the need for frequent repairs and maintenance. Airports and seaports often choose concrete for similar reasons. The heavy weight of airplanes and shipping containers demands a robust surface that can endure significant pressure without deforming. Concrete's ability to maintain its shape under heavy loads makes it the preferred choice for runways, taxiways, and shipping docks. Another important aspect is the thermal properties of these materials. Asphalt absorbs more heat due to its dark color, which can contribute to the urban heat island effect, raising temperatures in densely built areas. Concrete, being lighter in color, reflects more sunlight and stays cooler which can help mitigate this effect and improve the overall climate of urban environments. There is no one-size-fits-all answer to the question of whether asphalt or concrete is better. Each material has its unique advantages and disadvantages, and the choice depends on a multitude of factors. By carefully considering these factors and leveraging advancements in technology, we can make informed decisions that lead to safer, more durable, and environmentally sustainable roads. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of road technology. We hope this video has shed light on the complex considerations involved in choosing the right material for our roads. Drive safe and see you in the next video. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.